Well, what an extraordinary contribution from a government member. You would think that he was in no position to actually make a decision. This is a decision of this government. The New South Wales government have come up, out with a good position on PEP 11. Those opposite, those opposite Keith Peart, the minister, is in a position to rule this out today, to make a decision today, which would be not as good as making a decision yesterday and not nearly as good as making a decision last month and nowhere near as good as making a decision last year, but at least it would be a decision. Yep. The fact is that I travelled up with the member for Dobell. Yeah, yeah. We stood at Terrigal and made it very, very clear that we were opposed to PEP 11. That was a process that went through our processes of uh, shadow cabinet, went through all of our processes through our caucus unanimously, because this is a bad proposal. It is no wonder that the member for Warringah now sits on a crossbench That's rather right. than as a Liberal Party member. Right. Because the truth is that the people of the northern beaches have been abandoned by this government. Yeah. The people of the coasts in the central coast have been abandoned by this government. The people of Newcastle and the Hunter have been abandoned Absolutely. by this government. The people of Sydney around the Kingston Smith and indeed Wentworth electorate have been abandoned by this government uh -huh. as well. This is uh, the PEP 11 proposal. At the time, Keith Pitt, of course, has given various interviews where he has said uh, that uh, there's a whole lot of investment and that that investment comes from shareholders and therefore we need to take that into account. Uh, what the PEP 11 uh, proposal is, is for offshore, offshore drilling, uh -huh. off some of the most pristine beaches in the most densely populated communities of our nation. Yep. Of our nation. And the idea that you would have oil drilling off the, off the beaches, be they Manly, or be they Maroubra, <laughs> or be they Bondi, or Terrigal, or Avoca, or Newcastle, Merriweather, is just extraordinary proposition, a complete no-brainer. But a government uh, led by a man who has had a, 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 an attitude towards the environment of ridiculing renewable energy, of ridiculing electric vehicles, of ridiculing anything to do with uh, protecting our pristine natural environment in this country by taking action on climate change but also on other environmental issues, it's not surprising. It's not surprising that you have uh, the uh, Minister uh, for Resources in a position whereby he never sees anything he doesn't want to dig up. <laughs> never sees anything. So rather than have, though, a strong environmental, environmental position to balance up, the need for extraction of resources, but the need to balance up as well our natural, our natural environment. What we have from this government is a let it rip approach, a let it rip approach that has complete disregard uh, for uh, these issues. And it, it's interesting that uh, the member for McKellar, in his rather bizarre contribution uh, here today, spoken as if uh, he had no influence really over the government, spoke about his lobbying. Of, of, of Minister, Minister Pitt. Um, he didn't speak about his lobbying of the Environment Minister. No. Not, not a word. No, no, no. Not a word. The Environment Minister just sits there, sits there, does nothing, uh, doesn't take any action, doesn't take environmental protection seriously at all. It's no wonder that the, the member for McKellar is under seas uh, from uh, local community organisations uh, in his own electorate because he's shown himself to be impotent. Uh, he was OK at taking action to remove uh, the former member, yeah. McKellar, uh, from, from this parliament. And, 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 I, and I say to the, the member for Warringah, the member for McKellar, that uh, I congratulate him on, on that effort. Uh, but since he arrived here, since he arrived here, he hasn't troubled the scorers. Hasn't troubled the scorers. Here we have 
Here we have a proposition, a proposition uh, just like uh, we all have responsibility for our electorate. There was a proposal a few years ago for coal seam gas drilling in St Peter's in my electorate, a, a rather uh, interesting proposition uh, that, uh, that, that, was, uh, that was put forward. And uh, I joined with the community in opposing uh, that proposal because it simply wasn't appropriate. Uh, there is a role for resource extraction in this country. Uh, but let me just say this as well. The resources sector is undermined as a whole by proposals like this. Yeah, this damages, this damages the resources sector's reputation, yeah, which is why legitimate resources uh, businesses are horrified by this proposal. Yeah, absolutely. Because they all get tarred with this brush. Yep. The resources sector is very important for employment. And here we have the proposition before this parliament with the suspension of standing orders that the member for McKellar has said he's going to vote against. Let's be clear about what he's voting against. He's voting against, if he votes against this proposition, he's voting against the member for Warringah having a debate on her bill. Yeah, exactly. He's not voting against the bill. He's not voting against the bill. He's voting against the bill being debated and determined by this parliament. And this is a parliament that used to be able to debate issues, that used to have suspensions of standing orders and leave used to be granted to have discussion. I've sat in this parliament under the Howard government as well as under the Rudd government and under the Gillard government and had debates about private members' bills. I've moved private members' bills in this parliament. Uh, we have had debates about significant issues both here and in the Federation Chamber and had those issues determined by the parliament. That's called democracy. What this government, how this government approaches, how this government approaches these issues is just to shut down debate. And normally it's only because this motion's been moved by an independent member that I've been able to contribute to this debate which is why I didn't want to miss the opportunity. <laughs> didn't want to miss the opportunity uh, to make a contribution consistent with my stand on this issue. But to be very clear, this is a suspension of standing orders to allow the member for Warringah to have a debate about an issue which quite clearly is, is of interest to a range of members in this House, not the least of which is uh, the, the member for Shortland, the member for Dobell, the member for Newcastle, the member for Kingston Smith, as well as the member for McKellar, the member for Robertson, uh, the member for Melbourne and the member for Warringah. So it seems to me to be quite extraordinary that you would have a debate then uh, not allowed, which is why this suspension should just go through on the voices uh, if they are fair income at all. But if the member for McKellar and the member for North Sydney and the member for Robertson vote against this motion. Let me tell you that it won't just be the member for Warringah telling her constituents about it, it will be others as well. Because uh, this could be... The, this PEP 11 project should be consigned to the dustbin of history where it belongs. The dustbin of history where it belongs. But here we have, here we have a government a government that has been in office towards the end of its third term. They're approaching, they're in the pre-caretaker mode already. Pre-caretaker. Pre-caretaker, struggling as they are, struggling as they are to get to 2022. As they fall apart with chaos over climate change on, on, the, on the opposite. <laughs> They've got a conference in 10 days time, but they don't have a government position as of <laughs> Yeah. as of today yeah. on <laughs> net zero by 2050. It, it is just extraordinary. But they don't have a position on this either. Mm. And this is not a big call. Like this is a complete no-brainer. Uh, Minister Pitt could make a decision immediately, which would have meant that the member for Warringah uh, wouldn't have to proceed uh, with her bill. Yeah. And that's a preferred action. Uh, so 
the, the, the minister should do his job and say no to this proposal. Yes. Yes.